of all the rivers, the Clark Fork has always been my favorite. I've been a guide and outfitter on this river for over 26 years, and I've probably logged, you know, thousands of miles down the Clark Fork River. So the relationship is pretty intimate. It's always been special to me because of the fish. They're dry fly oriented, so, you know, the dry fly fishing can be really good at times. They're aggressive, they're strong, and, you know, they're not easy to find. We see this river as a, as a lifeline to the landscape of Western Montana. On any given summer day, you'll see flotillas of folks using the river uh, recreationally. So it's become a catalyst for this community being healthy, being vibrant, being economically engaged with the landscape. And that is what we would wanna see continue all the way down the Clark Fork River. Smurfett operated for decades as a pulp paper plant, an industrial facility. But the processes that all of those, those companies who occupied that site had a role in is what we were left dealing with. It's like being punched in the gut when you have something like that in, in that location. The Clark Fork River is in the heart of our ancestral homeland. And for our Salish and Kalespe and Kasanka people, caretaking and having that responsibility for the water quality and, and the, all the life that it gives is a critical element for the tribes. When you talk about chemical contaminants that might be in the fish tissue and how that lives on, what does that do to your culture? Over the last 35 years, Montana has made incredible progress, healing the scars of the Clark Fork's hardworking past. And now the river is really making a comeback, and it's become the heartbeat of our towns. Yet a major wrench in the Clark Fork's recovery is the shuttered Smurfett Stone Mill site, especially its unlined waste dumps that leak toxic chemicals into groundwater connected to the river. It's been 13 years since the mill closed down, and despite years of studies, the EPA has yet to take action. Our river and our communities cannot wait. Please join us in calling on the EPA to clean up Smurfett's toxic waste dumps now.